You may be trying to choose between the Aventa Matero and the State Black Label version 2 because on paper they have very similar specs and are also priced very similarly. So in this video we're going to make an in-depth comparison between the Aventa Matero versus the State Black Label version 2 so you can decide which bike will be best for you. For the most fun that I've had on a bike check out our channel sponsor Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description. First, let's take a look at the specs between the Black Label and the Matero so you can see the similarities and the differences and what each bike does better than the other. Both the Matero and the Black Label are constructed out of 6061 aluminum with tapered head tubes and carbon forks. And on both of the bikes, they each have their own house branded components from the 31.8 millimeter cockpit, machine built 30 millimeter deep rims laced to seal bearing Novatec hubs, and 144 BCD square taper cranksets. Now it's a lot of similarities, but there are some key differences between the two. The most notable one that you can immediately see is the differences in tubing shape. The Aventa Matero has hydroform tubes and smooth wells that give it an exotic look and supposedly give it aerodynamic benefits, whereas the State Black Label has a more clean, minimalistic look, standard aluminum tubing, and has very tidy but not completely smooth welds. At first glance, it may seem that the Matero has a much nicer frame set with more exotically shaped tubes but those exotic shapes do come at a price and that is the proprietary aero seat post. In the event that you need to replace one, whether you crash or this thing gets stolen, you have to go to a Venton for the exact same seat post and that's going to cost you a whopping $150. Compare that to the Black Label version 2 where it uses a standard 27.2 millimeter seat post. The Black Label also edges out the Matero when it comes to forks since it has a full carbon fork with carbon blades and a carbon steerer versus is the Matero's fork with carbon blades and an aluminum steerer. The Black Label also has a bit more choices though. During your checkout, you can choose between compact drops or wide risers, both of which are excellent options for daily abuse. And you can even add extras like upgraded pedals, tools, lights, and bottle bosses. With the Matero though, what you see is what you get, and you can certainly add extras, whether that's from a third party or right from Aventa's website, but it's not all included in the checkout process. Those choices though do come at a slight cost since you do have to pay for the upgrades and the Matero comes in at $590 while the Black Label sits at $650. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge price difference, but it is something to consider if you're on a super tight budget. If you're trying to squeeze the most bike out of your money as you possibly can, the Matero will get you there better than the Black Label. With that said though, the Black Label does weigh in at about one pound less than the Aventa Matero. My review bikes that I weighed with compact drops and Welgo pedals, toe clips, and straps weighed in at 15 pounds and five ounces for the 57 centimeter state black label versus 19 pounds and three ounces for the 58 centimeter Aventa Matero. Both of these bikes are specced as road worthy, reliable fixed gears that can easily handle daily abuse. The Matero is geared towards being racier with its exotic tubing shape, impractical but supposedly aero carbon seat post, and design aesthetic with pinstripes and lots of logos to make you look fast. The Black Label version 2 on the other hand is geared towards being a better all-rounder fixed gear. It has much more standard tubing shape, takes a standard 27.2 seat post, and has a much more clean and minimal aesthetic. The Black Label isn't just a better all-rounder fixed gear on paper, just as the Aventa Matero isn't just a racier fixed gear on paper, but both of their respective design philosophies are felt when ridden. Now let's compare each bike's ride quality, that is to say their acceleration cornering, smoothness, and comfort. The Matero has a bit of a polarized ride quality. It's both one of the best ride qualities and also one of the most meh. It really depends on how you ride the Matero. It feels amazing when sprinting and pushing the bike hard at sustained efforts, but it has that classic harsh aluminum ride quality at more casual paces. The Matero can feel overly stiff at casual paces, and it can feel like you have to fight the bike to maintain a comfortable cadence. And the fact that it has a 48-15 stock gear ratio isn't doing the bike any favors when it comes to getting up to that comfortable cadence. With the Matero, once you get past a certain power output, it feels like the bike gets past this 
tipping point where the ride quality goes from harsh to amazing. Past that tipping point, the bike starts to plane and it starts to give you a lot of feedback for how to best pedal and maneuver the bike, which just overall feels great. The Black Label version 2, on the other hand, has a much more subdued, well-rounded ride quality. The Black Label version 2 doesn't plane as nicely as the Matero, but it also doesn't feel nearly as harsh at lower efforts. It has a smooth and responsive ride quality that is much more enjoyable than the Matero at middle efforts, where you're likely going to be spending much of your time riding your bike. I have a strong preference for lively steel bikes over stiff aluminum bikes, so I've only ever ridden a handful of aluminum bikes. But out of all the ones that I've tried, the State Black Label version 2 has been my favorite. Whereas the Matero has that stiff aluminum ride quality to the core, the Black Label feels much more balanced. The ride quality feels somewhere between a steel bike and an aluminum bike, where it blends the smoothness of a steel bike with the responsiveness of an aluminum bike. The Black Label still is an aluminum bike, don't get me wrong, so it does feel much better when you ride it hard as opposed to just cruising. When it comes to ride feel at different speeds, the Black Label version 2 both feels much better than, and at the same time, not as amazing as the Aventa Matero. The Black Label better balances smoothness and stiffness for those middle efforts, but it is outclassed by the Matero's better top end. Which ride quality you'll enjoy more really depends on your riding style. As for handling and cornering, the Matero will steer more nimbly. It has a front end trail of 59mm versus the Black Label's trail of 69mm. With that said, the Black Label still handles plenty responsibly and at no point did I wish that it had a more aggressive geometry. The Matero is more fun to flick around for a short distance Instances, but all that responsiveness combined with the frame set's stiffness does make it more fatiguing for longer rides. For attention to detail and quality control, I've built up two bikes from each company, State and Aventon. So here we're going to compare the companies as a whole, and I must say, in my experience, Aventon is hands down way better than State. Here are all the problems that I've had with State from the two bikes that they've sent me. Number one, a dented frame set. Number two, bubbles and inconsistencies in the paint. Number three, way over torqued compression plug on a full carbon steerer. Number four, a rounded out top cap. Number five, pretty grimy components on a brand new bike. Number six, ungreased threads on some pre-installed components. Number seven, a pedal mix up with my order. Number eight, bent handlebars. Albeit, I did order more handlebars than the average customer, but still, I got bent handlebars. Number nine, loose packaging just inside the box and not protecting the bike. Number 10, rear dropouts spaced at 115 millimeters. Rear fixed gear axles are spaced at 120 millimeters. That was a problem. And number 11, this is a weird one. On the Black Label version two box that they sent me, they included four brakes, four cables, and four levers. Last time I checked, a bicycle has two wheels. Now, Aventon isn't perfect when it comes to their quality control and packaging, so here are some of the problems that I had. Number one, their boxes are so durable and so well secured that my fingers started bleeding when I tried to get in it. Pro tip, don't try to open Aventon boxes with your bare hands. Number two, paint inconsistencies on the new Aventon Andreas. And number three, chipped and slightly squished track end on the Andreas. Those are all the problems that I had with Aventon and one of them is actually a good thing. In State's defense though, they were very responsive and helpful to solve all the problems that I had. And they also told me that they're in the process of redoing their packaging and their quality control, but all these problems still happen to me and yeah, I'm still kind of salty. I've had a few issues with Venton, but they're still very impressive overall. They have the toughest bike box I've seen. They have very neatly packaged bikes that are well protected and the components are properly greased or Loctited. That's not a word, but I'm gonna use it anyway. And then they even pay attention to really small details, like having the lock ring and cog tightened and greased from the factory. And the tire logos are also perfectly aligned with the rim logos. So 
Yeah, a Vinton is just better at quality control than State, but that's not to say that State's bikes are bad by any means. It's just that if you're looking to get a State, I would strongly recommend that you get it from a shop instead of buying directly from them. Although these bikes are very similar on paper, they are meant for different people. So who's the Aventa Matera for and who is the State Black Label version 2 for? Well, if you're a very aggressive rider, whether you ride on the street or on the track or in crits, the Aventa Matera will better serve you since it does have an amazing ride quality once you push it past a certain point. It also has a touch more nimble handling that will be easier to get it around super aggressive corners. If you're not a terribly aggressive rider though and you like to do a good amount of sprinting, a good amount of long distance, and you like to ride at a medium pace most of the time, then the Black Label will serve you better since it does better in those cases than the Aventa Matera. The Matera is a more race-worthy bike while the Black Label is a more road-worthy bike, but both are capable of both. The Black Label is a great street bike that's fine for the track, and the Matero is a great track bike that's fine for the street. I'm a fixed gear guy though, I'm not a track guy, so I am unsure of the legalities of using each bike in different races at different levels, so look into it if you actually want to ride in the track. Both of those bikes are excellent options for different people, and neither of them will be excellent for everything. So if you're looking for something a bit different, and you're looking for the most fun that you can have from getting from point A to point B, check out our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles, with a buttery smooth, lively riding quality that only top shelf steel can bring. It's the nicest riding bike that I've ever ridden, it's the most fun that I've had on a bike, and that makes it pretty easy for me to ride my Wabi Special as my daily bike. Wobbies are specced with no-nonsense, high-performing components, and even a bike snob like myself can't rationalize upgrading, but in reality, side grading to nicer components because the stock components are just that good. So if you're looking for your end all be all fixed gear for street riding, that will likely be the most fun that you've had on a bike. Check out Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description. And with that, if you haven't ridden your bike yet, stop watching me right now and ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous, even if it is just on the rollers.